Okay, we're going to have a look at latitudes and longitudes. And the reason that we're going to go through this is because if you own a GPS, then the coordinates at which you'd be keying into your GPS as a waypoint are actually a combination of a latitude and a longitude. So let's go through the theory first of how latitudes and longitudes work around the globe, and then we'll have a look at charts and see how to apply it. So imagine this is the, uh, is a, is the world here. So imagine this is the world here. There's our North Pole, there's our South Pole, and cutting across the very middle, is the equator. Now latitudes run parallel to the equator up into the northern hemisphere and they also run parallel to the equator down into the southern hemisphere. The equator is zero degrees latitude and the north pole is 90 degrees latitude in the north, the south pole is 90 degrees latitude in the south. So from the equator to the North Pole is a right angle, and from the equator to the South Pole is a right angle. Your longitudes work the other way. They, be, they go from pole to pole. So they go from the North Pole down to the South Pole. And as I draw this up, we're getting a grid. The latitude and longitude system is a grid system which covers the globe. And it's a man-made system, and it's simply a matter of wherever the two lines cross, X marks the spot. So it's simply, a, it's simply an X and Y axis, and if the two lines cross, then those coordinates can be pinpointed down to one metre of accuracy anywhere in the world. Now the way it works, your latitudes run parallel north and south. If the, if the equator is zero degrees latitude and it goes up to 90 degrees latitude in the north and down to 90 degrees latitude in the south, it's a number system. Zero degrees at the equator is on the equator line the next number up from there is one degree, so we'll come down to the south, so we've got one degree there. Each degree of latitude equals 60 nautical miles. So at one degree past the equator, we're 60 miles away from the equator. At two degrees away from the equator, we're 120 miles from the equator. At three degrees, we're 180 miles, and so on. So each degree of latitude equals 60 nautical miles. If we draw Australia in here, you'll find that when we start looking at a chart, the latitude of around the Brisbane area is around about 27 degrees. The latitude of the Sydney area is about 34 degrees. Melbourne's about 38 degrees, and so on. So the further you go, the further you head south, the degrees increase, and it eventually gets down to the South Pole at 90 degrees. When they invented this system, they said, okay, it's fair enough that latitude zero is going to be the equator. But they said, well, how are we going to define longitude zero? And they said that the line that went from North Pole to South Pole and cuts through Greenwich, they made that longitude zero. So everybody's either going to be the, on the east side of that line or on the west side of it. Now Australia is down in the southeast quadrant of the globe, so we're in the southern hemisphere, so our latitudes are to the south, and we're on the eastern side of the UK, so our longitudes are uh, to the east. I've just drawn up a sample longitude line. The longitude lines, they meet at each pole, and they expand out and they, uh, they get fatter near the equator. So your longitude lines are not parallel. They actually, they're like an orange slice. They're thin at both ends and they're fat in the middle. So you can only say that each degree of latitude is parallel and is equal to 60 nautical miles. That's the way the system works. Here's just a, a subsection of, uh, of a bit of territory here. If we've got the 26 degree line of latitude there and the 27 degree line, there's 60 nautical miles in here, so obviously you need more accuracy than that if you're trying to find a, a local fishing hole. So what you can do between your degrees, you can break down each degree into 60 minutes, where each minute equals one nautical mile. So at, we're at the 26 degree zero zero mark here, that's the 27 degree zero zero mark. So we're down here we're at the 26 degree zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, and all the way down to 59, so to get to the 26th degree, 59th minute, and then it'll kick over to the 27th degree. Each minute of latitude equals one nautical mile. So we're down now to talking about one nautical mile of, uh, of accuracy. That's still not going to help too much if you're trying to find a very small spot or a very small area. So what you can do is you can subdivide between your minutes of latitude down into, most people work with decimal places. For example, if it was halfway between the 26 degree line and the 26 degree one minute, 
then halfway in a decimal system is 0.5. And we're in the southern hemisphere. If it was three quarters of the way between the 26 degree line and the 26 degree one minute line, three quarters in a decimal system is 0.75. So in other words, if it's halfway between, or if, if, it's a, if it's a percent, if it's a fraction of a way between any of these minute lines, then you just equate that, that uh, fraction or percentage to a decimal system, and that would be the numbers you'd key into your GPS. So if, for example, if it, was, if it was three quarters the way between the three minute mark and the four minute mark, well, three quarters in a decimal system is 0.75. So what you'd be keying into your GPS there, for example, is 26 degrees with the third minute mark, and it's three quarters of the way is 0.75. And that's in the southern hemisphere. So what this is saying here, we're at the 26 degree mark past the equator. We're three nautical miles past that 26 degree mark. So we're three miles past that line. Then we're three quarters of a mile past that. So it's 0.75. So you'd key that coordinate into your GPS. That's your latitude coordinate. There would be a corresponding longitude coordinate, which you'd also key in. And those two lines would cross. And X marks the spot. Now a combination of a, of a latitude, so if we had 34 degrees, 5 minutes, 0 0.890 as an example in the south, and 148.10.500 to the east, a combination of a latitude and a longitude coordinate constitutes what's known as a waypoint. Now these two coordinates you'd key into your GPS, and in GPS uh, terminology, these two make up a waypoint. You could then say, go to, to that, uh, to that waypoint, and the GPS would draw, just draw a dotted line uh, pointing at that spot. The way it works on a nautical chart, the latitudes read off the sides of the chart, the longitudes are read from the top and bottom of the chart. You can see here we're looking at 25 degrees, 50 minutes to the south. And down here, 25 degrees, 51 minutes. And there's little red subdivisions for each decimal place. So we're at the 25 degree 50 minute, 25 degree 51 minute, 52 minute and so on. You'll also notice a thin line running across the chart which indicates uh, your latitudes if it's running across and your longitudes if it's running down. Here's an example of a uh, longitude, 153 degrees 5 minutes to the east, 6 minutes, 7 minutes, 8 minutes and so on. So it's just simply a matter of just wandering down virtually the same as reading a street directory. It's just a grid system, so wander down a, uh, a longitude line, wander across from a latitude line, and where the two lines meet, X marks the spot, and that'd be the coordinates that you'd key into your GPS. For an example of working out a waypoint, let's have a look at a little spot here on Rottnest Island. We're looking at Salmon Bay here. We'll work out the coordinates of this little spot, just here, where she comes up to 3.3 metres. So we just lay a straight edge so that we can read off to the side of the chart. So we use a parallel ruler just as an example. You could use any straight edge, and we'll just focus in and see what the coordinates are there for our latitudes. What we do, we'll just mark that spot. That's the coordinate line just there. Take away our straight edge. So here we are. We're at 32 degrees, 1 minute, 0.1. So that would have been our latitude line. And going down the page for our longitude line, our longitudes work up and down the chart, our latitudes work across. So we'll just read down here along the straight edge. You could use any form of straight edge, a ruler or whatever. We'll just see what that says. Here we are, we've got 115 degrees, 30 minutes, and it's a bit past the 30 minute mark, so one, two, three, four, so decimal places, so the longitude would be 115 degrees, 30 minutes, 0.47. That's what you key into your GPS to the east. And you put those two coordinates into your GPS and just say go to. The GPS would draw a dotted line to that spot. You just follow the dotted line on the digital screen of your GPS. And when you got within 20 metres or so, it would start beeping and tell you you were there. Let's just work out the latitude for the, for the top of the light here on the Double Island Point Lighthouse. You can see here we're at the 26 degree 55 mark. There's the 26 degree 56 mark. So it's not quite at the 26 degree 56 mark, so we'll just work out the decimal places. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what you'd be keying in it there is 25 degrees, 55 minutes, 0 0.760. So that'd be your, your latitude to be keyed into your GPS in the southern hemisphere. And let's have a look at our longitude. To work at our longitude, we just put out a straight edge, line that up longitudinally or long ways down the chart, 
right from the tip of that uh, teardrop there, which is what we're after. And all we do is just read down the bottom of the chart and just see what the longitude lines are. And here's our longitude. We're at 153 degrees, 11 minutes, 0.5. You key those coordinates in your GPS as a waypoint. We're in the eastern, we're off to the east. We're on the eastern longitudes. So X would mark the spot. But you can see here an example of a GPS screen. We're in the southern latitudes. The latitude is 26 degrees, 40 minutes, 0.544. And the longitude's off to the east, 153 degrees, 4 minutes, 0.685. Those two coordinates make up a waypoint. X marks the spot that would mark a place on the Earth. Now once you've worked out a latitude and longitude coordinate of a chart, you just plug those coordinates into your GPS as a waypoint, and depending on your GPS, your GPS will either draw a dotted line to that spot, or it'll point an arrow to that spot, and you just follow it until you arrive. So there are our latitudes and longitudes. Just a matter now of just uh, uh, obtaining a chart for your area, and if you've got a GPS, then uh, what you can do is just uh, work out a few uh, spots that you'd like to go to, uh, put those coordinates into your GPS, and even from home you'd be able to work out just the distance, how far away those, uh, those points are from your current position. Uh, it's not very difficult, it's just a grid system.